I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat? No. I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, um... Peace and blessings to all my indigos and star seeds. Welcome back to another episode of Forever Flowers, my series where I talk about an artist, a musician, or an actor and actress who has been putting in the work for a long time, but doesn't always get their just due or their flowers while they're here on earth. And so today on Forever Flowers, we're going to be talking about somebody who I really seriously look up to, like in a real way. Um, She was the star of so many things. She is a neo-hippie, beautiful Kendrick soul, and she basically has been uh, married to two of the most beautiful men on planet Earth. Um, Her name is Lil Koi Moon, but we know her as Lisa Bonet. Um, So today I'm going to be talking about Lisa Bonet and giving her flowers that she deserves and um, talking about the influence that she's had in my life over the years and just going into her story. So um, sit back, relax, and check out Lisa Bonet. So Lisa Bonet came into my life, of course, to the Cosby Show, like most people. And she played Denise Huxtable, and I love Denise Huxtable. Like, I really do. I look up to her. I find a very much a oneness with her, and I understand her story very well. Um, she was this really cool chick who dressed really cool and just had these this way about her that was just very alternative, very, you know, feminist, very, you know, she's just a cool chick, right? And... You know, growing up in a household with Claire Huxtable as your mother, you're of course a feminist because Claire wouldn't let her daughters not be. But um, she was just this really cool chick on The Cosby Show who always had a new hairstyle, who always had new clothes, was just dressed really dope, and I love it. Um, So, you know, Denise Huxtable would go on to do A Different World. She would be on um, that show, and she would go to Hillman College for a year. She would drop out, she would not get good grades, and she would go and travel to Africa and do some volunteer work there and then meet her army husband or marine husband and she would um, get married and then she would be the stepmom to Olivia um, and she would just live out her time on the Cosby show and then eventually leave the show and, you know, everything that happened with that. But Lisa Bonet as a person. So, you know, like I said, I got into her because of Denise Huxtable. But later on, I would sort of start to get more and more and more into Lisa Bonet, a.k.a. Lil Koi Moon. Um, through, you know, more of her, um, you know, just the spiritual things that she was doing, her nomadic life, and just who she is as a person. So during the time that she was on A Different World, she started to date and get married to um, Lenny Kravitz. Beautiful black retro rocker, uh, neo hippie, um, just this beautiful soul, right? Black rocker, beautiful soul. Beautiful looking at the same time. And basically Lil Lil Koi Moon, aka Lisa Bonet, was kind of the reason why Lenny Kravitz even popped off. Um, She was helping him get uh, into uh, the music world and basically helped him write Let Love Rule. And her and Lenny basically had this beautiful hippie lifestyle that they were living in and they were living at her apartment in California. And they were just living this hippie lifestyle and being like this cute little hippie couple. And I was so here for it. If I had lived back then, I would have probably stand them. And I also stand them today in 2018. They are so goals, right? And I just love their lifestyle that they had back then, just who they are. And just, they're so incredible. And I just loved watching different interviews from back then when they were still together and how much in love they were. You know, they were so in love. So when Lenny Kravitz breaks 
uh, Lisa Bonet's heart. It is basically a, it just feels really wrong. It feels really wrong, you know? I don't blame Lenny Kravitz so much. I mean, yes, you know, a man is a man is a man. But, I mean, I think personally that Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet were meant to be together for one sole purpose, and that was to make the beautiful child that was Zoe Kravitz. And I really admire that about um, Lenny Kravitz and um, Lisa Bonet, aka Lila Coin Moon, that they were both able to just bring that out of each other and to make this beautiful baby and to just live life to the fullest during the time that they were able to do that. And, you know, today, Lila Koi Moon and Lenny Kravitz are beautiful kindred spirits who aren't together anymore, but are very much in love with each, in love with each other in a very brother-sister type of way. And I just think that's the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. Um, later on in life, um, Lenny Kravitz, Lisa Bonet, uh, Chris Summers, and um, Kadeem Hardison who Lenny uh, Cree Summers and Kadeem Hardison were dating at the time, Lenny Kravitz and so and um, Lisa Bonet were dating at the time, and they were like the hippie couples of Hollywood. I love it. Um, but because of that, Lilacoy Moon and Cree Summers actually became best friends and sisters, and that was just such a beautiful connection that they have. They have such a beautiful connection, and I love it. Um, but also, um, Lisa Lilacoy Moon changes her name to Lilacoy Moon. She starts growing out her locks and she becomes this nomadic person. And she just starts roaming around places, traveling, doing all these nomadic things. And then later in her life, she would meet and marry, not for a long time, but she had two incredible kids with Jason Momoa and they are happier than ever and he's really handsome oh my gosh and you know i just that's another thing about lila koi moon aka lisa bonet she has a way with men she is able to pick out men precisely right she she's good she's real good but um yeah it what's really beautiful about the whole lisa bonet and lila koi moon thing is she basically has this really beautiful relationship where she has her man Jason Momoa she has her brother figure uh, Lenny Kravitz she has her daughter Zoe and she has her two kids with Jason Momoa and they're all in this beautiful uh hippy dippy uh beautiful circle where they're able to hang out and there's no anything it's just they're super cool they're super awesome everybody's happy and I just love it you know, and I think that's a really beautiful thing to see out here in this world that people who were once together are able to come back together and be in each other's lives uh, in a beautiful, healthy way. But they're not together romantically, but they're able to be together in a whole and wholesome and beautiful way that they're able to be in each other's lives still and care for each other in a more plutonic way. But with all the love of romance and I just love it I love it so much and I just love Lisa Bonet aka Lila Coin Moon for everything that she's been able to accomplish in her 30-year career um she will always be Denise Huxtable to me um she is just incredible and she um you know she just is a big influence in my life as a nomadic neo-hippie beautiful woman and I just love her and I love her relationship with Chris Summers I love her relationship with Lenny Kravitz I definitely love her relationship with Jason Momoa I love her relationship with her daughters and her son and just I just love it I just love it and I think that they're just beautiful beautiful people and I just I wish the world for her and I'm just so proud of who she is and just the way that she's been able to uh, weave in and out of Hollywood in the way that she needs to and that she supports her daughter in being in this Hollywood lifestyle uh, without deterring her away and making her feel like, you know, I had a bad experience, kind of, sort of, in the Hollywood realm, 
but you might have an incredible experience so go for it girl and i love it i just love it so this has been forever flowers on lisa bonet aka lil koi moon and you should go check out basically everything she's ever been in because she's incredible um and you know i just love going back and looking at a bunch of pictures of her and lenny kravitz during their like heyday during like the height of like let love rule like during that whole time and i just get so envious i'm like y'all were the cutest little hippie couple and i love it and the fact that you were a black hippie couple of that was so cute i was like so here for it so um i definitely recommend checking out an interview um and a little panel that she did on um veganism on breastfeeding on vaccinations on basically the health system in this country um and she was on a panel with river phoenix and a bunch of other people go check it out it's on youtube um check out a little uh like skit type thing she did um about that basically black girl magic i call it um where she is like this hippie store owner who helps this woman who comes through this young adult this young woman who comes through her shop and helps her have like a uh ancestral remembrance type of experience it's really really awesome you should go check that out as well and um yeah just i love you little koi moon you are incredible um so yeah until next time my beautiful indigos and star seeds peace